for tuning into Airs TV. You just burnt through them lenses right now, right? So there's always situations, you know, Spider-Man, you know, you, you can't just be flinging webs, you know, you're in the office, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you, there's, there's restraint retaliation because there's a time for God to use you. Right. Right. So 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 that's why scripture says the sufferings of this present time are worthy to be compared to glory shall be revealed. To you. Right. Then verse 18, it says, look, it says for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Earnest expectation. There's a there's. Well, let me just read the rest of it. It says, look, for the it says for the creature was made subject to vanity, born in sin and shape and iniquity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope, the expectation. Look, it says because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. See, so at first you're born in sin, you're bound by corruption. It's holding you captive. But this says you will be delivered from that bondage. Look, it says it says uh, bondage of corruption. Look. It says, into the glorious liberty of children of God. Uh, verse 22 says, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth and pain together until now. They're way they're hoping you pass the test. Amen. Cross over from that bondage yes. of corruption yes. and walk in the glorious liberty of God. See, liberty is a supernatural freedom. It's operating in a supernatural authority. When you operate in supernatural authority, you're unstoppable. See, you're not restricted when, see, we think liberty is freedom, freedom to do dirt. I do what I want to do. That's not what liberty is. Liberty is I have authority, I understand how to operate it, and, and you don't dictate my authority just because you offend me or you talk crazy to me or you're trying to attack me. Because Jesus said, I could have called down legions of angels, mm -hmm. but Jesus had liberty. I'm here for a plan, I'm on the plan, and nothing's going to stop me from the plan. I'm free to fulfill what I was purposed to be put here for. Amen. Bondage would be I'm getting pulled off the plan every time somebody come at me the wrong way, say something the wrong way, do something the wrong way, or an obstacle come up. You, you're not free now. You're here for, to fulfill something. To walk in a level of super, you don't let nothing throw you off that path, right? Um, and then 1 first, first Samuel 10, try to get as much of this in in the next few minutes. Five? Okay. Verse five. Six, it says, and the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy, be used by God with them and shall be changed into another man. Right. See, so when we decrease and his spirit saturates us, we're filled with all the fullness of God. It says now prophecy means is God actually speaking through you. Now That's different from the word of knowledge, words of wisdom. So I can tell you about your future. That's a word of wisdom. I can tell you about what's happened to you yesterday. That's a word of knowledge. But prophecy is you're just a vessel. God speaking. Amen. Oh, the same God that God said, let there be light. God said, let there be a firmament. Mm -hmm. So imagine if God is using you for prophecy. He's using his creative words, his creative power, his creative voice to speak creation through your vessel. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when that spirit comes on you, you have the ability to let that super come out of you and change everything around you. And to do that, he changes you into another man. Amen. He changed you from into super. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened to Saul. First Samuel 10, 6. See, we, we're trying to walk into, remember uh, we said Sarah, she needed some faith to birth the impossible. See, so God wants us to embrace our superpowers so we start to live a life uh, of all things are possible. Uh, what was the Adidas uh, slogan? It was about three years ago or four years ago. Gilbert the Readers was playing, I think. Possible is everything or something like that. I'm an Adidas guy. Don't take that personal. Uh, see, three strikes, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Reaching a little bit? Okay, all right. Well, the people with Nike was reaching with, uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to tell you what else they were saying, but. Because that might mess up you wanting to purchase Nikes. Um, so, all right, but, but what, I, what I was saying is we're trying to cross over into the all things are possible life. Look, Mark 9, Mark 9. Y'all should have these scriptures on your mirror, really, to be honest with you. These, these, uh, because we, 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 
seemingly we're in a lot of insurmountable situations, but, but we, we superheroes. No big deal for us. Look, uh, 920, Mark 9.23 says, Jesus said unto him, if thou canst believe, you canst believe, he says, all things are possible to him that believe it. Go over to the next chapter in verse uh, 27, chapter 10, 27. And Jesus looking unto them said, with men it is impossible. With the corruptible, regular, natural men. Oh, it, it's impossible. It says, but not with God. With God, all things are possible. Some things? All things. So imagine if we operate in the all things are possible perspective. See, so uh, okay, y'all know I'm a movie guy, so the Matrix, the first one, you know. At the end of the movie, that's what he said. At the end of the movie, his statement was all things are possible. What he realized is, wait a minute, all this time I thought I had limits. And there is not. See, at first, he's, you know, remember he was going through training. He's going through training, and they're doing the martial arts. He said, so are you saying I'm going to be able to dodge bullets? He said, what I'm saying is if you get this down, you won't have to. At the end of the movie, when they shot bullets at him, see, again, he realized there was no limits. So limits is I, th this is, I can only do this much. And a lot of times, limits are placed on you based on what you've seen. So up to that point, all he saw, at first he had never seen nobody dodge bullets, so up to that point, he's going to get shot. <laughs> bullets come, either he duck, run, or get shot, right? Then once he saw Morpheus dodging the bullets, he was like, okay, if I get this down, I'll be able to do that. But that's still a limit. And as people were watching the movie, going through the process of the movie, they probably didn't realize they was just like, oh, he's going to be another level, he's going to be a dodge bullets. He said he wouldn't have to. At the end of the movie, when they shot the bullets out, he just stopped the bullets. Then not only did he stop the bullets, since there's no limits, instead of me fighting against these agents, I'm going to jump inside of them. I mean, I know this is far-fetched, but the point was, whatever I believe I can do, I can do. The whole matrix, matrix means womb. The whole matrix was stuck in a womb, stuck in limits. See, the, the, the child in the womb only gets the resources that you give it. There's things that the child cannot do. Right, so, so, so that's what matrix means. It's in the Bible, Exodus. It means womb, right? The first that comes out of the matrix, bursts out of the womb. That's why the movie starts off with where they, they take a cord from him, biblical cord, disconnected, and he goes through a canal because the water breaks, and he goes through a canal, birth, <laughs> right? So that's why the movie starts off that way. But then at the end, when he was doing so many different things, what he realizes, is, oh, my God, there's no limits. And a, a Christian actually wrote the movie, because it's how we live. We live bound in a matrix. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and we live restricted lives. We have lived restricted lives. So there's no limit. All things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible. Amen. All things are possible. Yes. Okay. Yes. All things are are possible. And I'm telling you, you don't know. You get into situations. Uh, last, uh, uh, this, was, it was, this was end of last year. Because um, you're growing church. People growing to be all in. So, uh, and then we had somebody that was really uh, being, that has been a blessing to the church. But they went through something. So, so they weren't, they didn't sow into the church like they did before. Because as people are figuring out that it's their church or out of the love of God, you tithe. How do you pay the bills, right? So we go into New Year's Eve service. I'll be honest with you. Based on what we was going to have to pay after that service, I was like, okay, we're going to have no reserves, no nothing. Going into New Year's service. Now, I wasn't looking like that, but that was the case. But we talked about it. I was like, well, it's a surprise to us, but it's not a surprise to God. All things are possible. It's not our church. It's God's church. So let's go enjoy our New Year's service. <laughs> Walked in the door. I walked in the door earlier that day to, to rain some chairs or something. And it was a FedEx envelope there. And uh, so I was like, FedEx? Because we hadn't got a, ever got a FedEx envelope. Taped on the, on, the, uh, on the window. Open the envelope up. There's a check for $35,000. I couldn't. I wasn't going. Probably going to get a check for about $35,000 today. <laughs> Had never happened before. But all things are possible. Amen. 
if you believe. And so we have this ability, but we're choking sometimes and our fears and our controls is stopping us from just believing. We sign on this life. Thanks for tuning into Airs TV. The completion of this video or entire audio can be accessed at our website at www.heirscc.org or on Airs CCC channel, YouTube, and Airs Radio via SoundCloud and iTunes. Donations can be given at our website. Thank you. Remember, at Airs, we believe we're just what you prayed for.